how do you do that? It's Monday, so you know what today it is. It's a new review on Robin Jana episode three. This episode is when I guess China got invited to Chloe's birthday party, and China's mama called and invited. Was like asking China, like or asking China's asking her mom Tokyo Tony when can her and Rob come to you know to Washington D.C. to visit? And his her mom was like come out you know July fourth. So that's what they did. Um, before they went to Washington, they ended up going to. Um, China had to talk Robin to go into Chloe's birthday party because you know Chloe really, Robin and Chloe are really close and they have I guess fell off since everything's happened. So you know China had to you know talk him into it because you know Robin's still self conscious about going out in public with his weight, which I completely understand. Like I said last time. And so, you know, Tony ended up talking and he ended up going. They ended up, he ended up having, you know, a great time. And then they went back to the next day, Tony threw a barbecue and invited friends and family. And so they were, you know, just laughing, joking, having a good time. And after I left, Tony went up to Rob and was like, right, so are you going to go with me to Washington, D.C.? And, you know, Rob had to think about it. And Tony was thinking if he doesn't go, that's my, you know make or break our relationship because it's her family and he wants she wants him to go mingle and meet her family so Rob ended up going they got there China's daddy has 12 kids including China and I'm like dang he's a, he's a player player 12 kids a day player player and they're and I think they range from like 30 to 3 I'm like, dang, bro. So the oldest is 30 and the youngest is like three. I'm like, damn, bro. Mm. And so it's been like, they said, China has just been like 10 years since her mom and dad seen each other. And her mom has never met any of her siblings because China said she didn't get to meet any of her siblings until she was like 16. So basically she grew up like an only child with and without her daddy like basically been raised by a single mother no dad and no siblings until she's like 16 and her dad she said her and her dad talk and he apologized for not being there for her because you know that does affect the female woman it um not having your father there that really does affect you know a female in many ways in the way that you choose men and things like that so I completely understand, but, um, so they were in Washington, D.C. They, China ended up calling her dad to go out to eat, and her mom, they haven't seen each other, like I said, in, like, 10, 10 years, and so, and her mom has never met any of her siblings. I think two of her sisters was, was at the dinner, and her brother, and so her mom was asking, you know, the age range for all his kids, and China... Her other, one of her sisters and a brother, I think, like their triplets are like months apart, literally. So they're all the same age, but they're just like three or four months apart from each other. I'm like, damn, dude was a straight player. Like, he looked in this, got this one pregnant, got this one pregnant, and got this one pregnant. All of them at the same time. Wow. And so I think China's mom was starting to feel some type of way, because I guess. They may have been still talking or messing around with each other when she was pregnant with China, and I think her mom was starting to feel some type of way, so she ended up getting up, getting up, and walking off. And so China went and checked on her. She's like, "I'm not gonna leave. I don't want to start nothing. I just, you know, need, you know, some time to myself to think and process this whole, you know, three kids the same age." And then let's see. So then eventually the ice broke and they were all, you know, Kiki laughed and having fun. Rob was actually, you know, having fun and enjoying himself. And so they, Charles was like, you want to go to where it all started, the first strip, strip club I ever worked at. And so they ended up going to that strip club and Rob actually came out of his comfort zone and was having fun. He was like, I don't ever want to see my daughter in this setting and I don't ever want you to be back here ever. 
which is a good thing, which is sweet. So the next day, they ended up getting crab legs, and Rob was okay, comfortable enough to take pictures because the day that the other day before they went out to eat with her parents and was the strip club there was she trying to show him where she was a high school where she lived and there's people there that want to take pictures with them and Rob was uncomfortable with it which I everybody knows why I completely understand why so he ended up you know taking pictures having fun and they ended up taking pictures at the crab shack Rob made the comment Rob said I think I have to keep throwing myself in these uncomfortable situations to be comfortable with it for the, for my sake and her sake so we can, you know, have fun and enjoy ourselves from now on instead of, you know, it being so awkward and me not and him not being so and him not being so uncomfortable with it being out in public. So let's see. Then they went bowling with her friends, her family and her family from LA came out. And one of her best friends, Treasure was feeling some type of because she never, she feels like, I guess, Paige is not, she feels like Paige is the opportunist because, you know, Paige lives with China and, you know, she's around China all day, every day. And I guess, in a way, Trevor was jealous. And so they never really, there was like unseen tension between them when they were both. Mm -hmm. Sorry. There was unseen tension between them when they were bowling and like, you know, Paige just treasure talk came. Treasure was in the bathroom with China explaining why she didn't, you know, really mess with Paige like that, I guess. That Paige is like her name, her name in LA. I can't remember what her real name was. But um then Paige, you know, came over and Treasure got up and big bone and, you know, Paige was like, this is awkward. I'm just going to leave. So she basically got up and left. Went back to the hotel. And when they got back to the hotel after bowling, you know, China then went there and talked to Paige. And was like, what's going on? Why'd you leave like that? Like, um, I was like, she was like, "Plus, Treasure didn't speak to me. She didn't say hey to me. She just looked at me, gave me this state look on her face. Like, why are you here? And it was uncomfortable for her. So she left. Because um, Paige, Treasure talked to everybody else. And Paige was trying, and Treasure made the comment, like, why'd you bring your whole entourage here, you know? So, but I guess China understood. China was like, y'all need to, you know, talk about it and, you know, don't put me in the middle of it. Y'all need to, you know, go speak and talk and, you know, figure out what the issue is. And so, you know, they left it at that. China and Rob made it ginger. Rob was trying to, like, I'm going to give Rob some Rob some booty now because it's my job. I'm like, really, bitch? Well, they're cute together. They're funny. They have fun together. I think they just need to, you know, work on their, like, Rob needs to work on his insecurity issues and China needs to understand where it's coming from. Um, then they went and had her mama threw, yes, July 4th, her mama threw this big block party at her house and, like, her, like, there was family, friends there. And they had fun. Like, they had a complete bath, like, blast. Rob was having fun. Um, but Paige was there. Paige went outside with one of China's other friends. And they were, you know, China went out there and she's like, have you talked to Treasure? She's like, no, I haven't. I don't know what to say. She didn't say, hey, me. she just looked at me and kept it moving. And so China was like, I don't want to get in the middle of it. But, you know, it's her friends. And she's like, I'm kind of stuck in the middle. Like, y'all are this unseen, untension needs to, you know, be resolved, figure out what's going on between y'all. And so China went and got a treasure, they went out and talked, and Paige was like, so, China was like, so what is the issue? And Treasure was like, I have no issue with her, there's no problem. And I'm like, clearly, there's a problem. People can tell. If you say there's no problem, people can tell there's a problem. Just admit it. Paige was like, I think you're just jealous, or you feel you feel like I'm trying to take your best friend, and I'm not. And Treasure was like, I don't ever think that. I don't, I'm not jealous. She is. The way she was saying it came off like she was strictly, she was straight jealous, y'all. And so Paige was like, I'm not trying to take your best friend. She was like, you know, if I moved to LA, you wouldn't be there. You wouldn't be living with her. Paige was like, well, come to LA. I mean, what's the issue? What's the deal? And they ended up treasuring. Like, like, China was like, Paige and them are there for me. I have no family out there in LA besides Rob. And her family and friend, her friends that are out there with her. 
the rest of her family are in D.C. She has nobody. So the people she does have, they're basically family to her. So there shouldn't be no issue. You shouldn't be jealous. You should just get to know them and be happy. And they, they seem like really cool people to me. And so then, you know, they end up making it, making up or, you know, squashing the beef for tension. And Paige was like, just give me a hug. You want a hug? And they hug. Like, that's me. Like, I have no issue with anybody. Like, I like anybody from the start. <laughs> Unless you cross that line and then it's a different story, but I'm right on that one. But, uh, and then, you know, they were having fun, Rob and Tyler outside. Rob's never had pumpkin pie, y'all. Like, he's never had pumpkin pie. Wow. I didn't know that. Um, and then China's mom came up and started talking to them and was like, so what are y'all going to do? Like, when are, when are y'all going to get married? And China was like, we're just playing it by ear. Rob was like, playing it by ear. He was kind of thrown off from it. China's like, there's things I want him to work on because he has issues with bringing up, you know, past relationships into this relationship, thinking I'm doing this when I'm not, and I want him to work on that. And China's on, like, basically explaining what she went through when she was with Chad China. She was 16, raising China by herself, had to, you know, start from the bottom. Rob and China don't have to stress about stuff like that. The issues that they have, they can pretty much nip it in the butt and keep it moving and live happily ever after. But it's going to take time because Rob's got to, you know, get through his issues that he's having personally with the way he looks. He's got to want to change that for himself. And so the way it ended, we'll see next week's episode. <coughs> but um, hope you guys enjoyed this review. The problem trying to see the one episode three, and I will see y'all in my next video. Peace. Oh, and if you're new and you're watching this, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. Yes, you. I'm talking to you watching this right now. Hit the subscribe button. Okay. Bye.